Hello everyone and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2 where you join us, uh, well myself, the voodoo witch doctor, and Shelab, the uh, buckethead knight. Yes, I look awesome in my bucket. Y yes. I'm getting the next helmet. <laughs> okay, deal. I think that that will actually benefit us Between all. you in your awesome witch doctor mask thing and I have a bucket on my head. On the flip side, whenever I want to make a, like a thumbnail with my character, it takes me about 10 minutes to cut out the Witch Doctor mask to overlay over other things. So, you know, there's pros and cons to looking yeah, awesome. Yeah, the bucket cuts out fairly easily, to be fair. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a nice yeah. geometric shape. Right, well, we are still in the, uh, in the Elvish cave, but it's time for us to head out, yeah, I indeed. think. Yes. Someone in my comments, right, said mm -hmm. that... Red has more to say, and that if we have a little word with him, oh, he might tell us more about lizards not having a heart. Okay, go ahead, chat with him. You listening in? Yep, and I have caught up. Cool. So, um, I'm going to ask him more about his need to find a dreamer. Okay. There isn't much to say but for the fact that I simply must. It's the portent of it all. I can feel it. The revelation will be world-changing. I just know it. Okay. Um, I'll tell him he's got me all curious now. And justified it is too. You'll be a witness to wonders, I assure you. Ooh. As certain as the sun, such is my conviction. I will be, then grow beyond being. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm going to ask him how it's possible for a royal to end up in fortune. That is a very good question, yeah. Why was he yes. exiled? There was a small incident which prompted my many rivals to move against me. Technically, they had the letter of the law on their side. <sighs> Such scallywag technicalities. Yep. Such a nuisance, the law. <laughs> Quite necessary to keep the common in line, of course, but one such as myself, it should exempt as a matter of course. <laughs> oh, he is such a snob. I know. Too many laws keep people under the thumb of authority. Or no one should be exempt from the law, least of the, all those who claim they should be. Mm, no, I'm going to agree about I don't like the law, because... I'm a I'm an outlaw, aren't I? Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna like the law. What I meant was that being authority, I shouldn't be under any thumb. I had thought that was perfectly obvious. Well yeah. <laughs> He's such a son. Sadly, that enlightened point of view quite clearly turned out to be academic. If not, we wouldn't be having this very conversation. Okay, so I'm going to ask what the incident was that made him run afoul of the law in the first place. I hardly know you as yet. Let's leave some mystery in the relationship, shall we? We can exchange criminal records later. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know I have a criminal record? Um, I'll ask him what I intend to next. rule an empire one day, not a tiny outcropping in the sea, lording over gulls and guppy fish. To that end, I suggest we focus on the obvious. A farewell to Fort Joy and a hello to the mainland. Okay, I'll just do the last option, which is ha say I'm happy he survived the shipwreck. Okay. As am I. A prince should die of old age or on the battlefield. Anything else could be construed as weakness of character. That said, I've the distinct feeling I wasn't meant to die today. For despite your heroics, I was still cast into the water. I sank. Oh. I drowned. Okay. But there was something in the water. A voice made of air that soothed my wow. flooding lungs. There was sudden light, warmth, life. Okay, I'll express amazement and say mm. that I heard the voice as well. Truly. How intriguing. To hear a voice whilst drowning is a rather specific delusion to share, is it not? Yeah. That's the point. Still... I wonder if he hesitates. Are you a religious person? Um, 
I haven't thought that far. Quick, think now. I am one. A pity. Religious persons tend to be all too self-important in their supposed humility. Ah, oh, so what a shame. Okay, so... Uh, right click and examine the companion to check their current attitude towards you. Be aware companions who really don't like you will leave your party. Okay. Oh, did you lose standing with him? Lost a bit of standing, yeah, because ah. uh, he doesn't like me being religious. Mm. As for myself, I perform the ancient rites of prayer and ceremony with a kind of languid indulgence. So you are religious? No. Right. More that he fakes it for appearances, I think. Fair enough. After all, when one is revered by many as a living god oneself, public deprecation would be needlessly self-important as well, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the way he talks. Okay. Okay, well, I need to take my leave then. There was nothing about his heart in all of that, but uh, some well. interesting stuff. All I'm going to have a word with Thing then, as well. Yeah, why not? Why not have to see what Is it not enough that you travel things? with me? Must you speak too? <laughs> wow, Thing. You. I, what? Are you caught up? Yeah. <laughs> Go on then. Bark away. Let's see if we can find any method in it. <sighs> okay, let's have a look what you have to say here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say I must seem very alien to fame. Ask what he thinks of my people. Oh, I think of them as little as possible. <laughs> wow, the sass. He's another one that's as much really I arrogant. As you think of gadflies mm -hmm. that buzz about you. Wow. Gadflies who have managed to subdue you and imprison you, I might add, fame. Not that there is anything wrong with you, of course. Just that you're, well, not all that impressive. We need less arrogant companions. <sighs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously so close. This was Fane's chance to redeem himself. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to go with... I disagree. You have left the rest of your race behind. The undead enjoy the per perpetuity of the bone. You will live forever. Well... Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> Regardless, further study will be required. In fact... Oh dear. The skeleton pulls a notebook from his robes and starts scribbling. After a moment, he pauses and looks back to you. Uh, uh, sorry, do carry on. Just act as you do in your natural environment. Simply pretend I'm not here. Oh god, he's studying me. Go on then, bark away. Let's see if we can find any method in it. Uh, okay, so this mask you're looking for, what is it exactly? The mask of the shapeshifter. In my time, it was nothing more than a novelty. A toy, really. I crafted one for my child once. Oh. She spent the day trying to convince me that she was her mother, even though the face I used looked nothing like her. Okay. Of course, now that toy could be the difference between life and... Well, it makes a difference. Interesting, very With interesting. With that mask, I can mm. shapeshift and walk through this world looking like any other simple mortal. I could look like a lizard, a dwarf, a human, any creature whose face I can procure. And I would um, assume the same for us. It certainly yep. makes traveling through towns easier. Not that it is. Toy or not, it could be a powerful weapon. Or... Hmm. Hmm, I'm going to ask how he crafts it. Oh, it's quite simple. One just acquires a face, a source orb, and combines the two to make a face mask. Hmm. Oh, yeah, simplicity itself. Combining several of these single face masks along with a source orb will produce a mask of the shapeshifter. Frankly, I'm amazed everyone isn't doing it. Uh, I'm surprised everyone isn't like prizing the faces off dead people and sticking it on their face. Or live people. I I mean, Fane hasn't strictly said they need to be dead for the process, which is kind of troubling. How does he feel about having to hide his true face in fear? Fear? Please. Why would I fear these creatures? Uh, I don't know. You tell me, because you clearly are afraid of them. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be hiding. It's a practical choice. Nothing more. Hmm. I'm not okay. sure I believe that. 
Moving through this world is so much easier when you don't have to lecture some torch-wielding lunatics on the dangers of an open flame. I, technically, you have a point. Okay. That that's so undead flame, undead weak to fire. <laughs> yeah, all the true, time. Actually. Uh, it suggests that maybe there aren't that many spare faces lying around. Oh, of course there are. How many hundreds of thousands of mortals have died over the years? Has a startlingly good point. Almost all of them seem to have been disposed of while still wearing perfectly serviceable faces. Ah, oh, the, the, the humanity. Wasteful. It's Terrible. It's a terrific waste. Still... Without the proper tool to remove the face from a corpse, I cannot take advantage of the many cadavers you're providing. <laughs> okay, so he might just be following us around because we happen to kill a lot of people. So if you happen yep. across anything that seems capable of ripping a face off a body, please do let me know. Uh, I will consider it. <sighs> Trust you bloody-minded beasts to turn a child's trinket into a wicked purpose. Not wicked, we just want to hide. Fair, fair point. Actually, I mean, I did say it was. It, it could be, prove to be a powerful weapon. He's like, okay, yeah, yeah. you put me in my place, Vane. Well done. People like you are the reason it must be recovered. Okay. I am using the mask to keep myself safe from the violence of this world. Who knows what evil it could do in the hands of some mortal witch? Okay, ask something else. Um, well, I am curious about the Eternals. Have we got enough me time too. to ask? Yeah, no, they definitely are interesting. Okay. You're curious. His people, the Eternals, what were they like? Ah, this is perhaps the first intelligent question you have asked. After all, one should always try to learn from one's betters. I am going to uh, take the bones from your legs and give them to random drugs around the fort. Sounds like fun. Bite my tongue and let him continue. My people are a race far beyond oh, anything actually that exists a plus in the world today. We seek to master the secrets of the universe. We craft wonders to last through the ages, long after your crude tools have rusted to nothing. Uh, where are all those wonders now if they were built to last so long? I... I do not know. Hmm. There that are rumors sad. that some have been found at the yeah. Black Pits. An oil field on Reaper's Coast. I was trying to uncover the truth when I was waylaid by these magisters. But wherever the artifacts of my people are, I will find them. We have not simply vanished into thin air. Uh... What? I'm gonna wonder what they look like. There is a great variety among our people. Some are tall and lithe, others short and muscled. Some come in a variety of eye-catching colors. Others you can barely see at all. This is what makes you such an abomination, you see. Harsh. You look almost exactly like every other creature of your race. Doubly so, now that you're dead. Wow. Oh. Walking through this world is as repulsively bland as staring at a wall for a century. After a while, the very sight of you disgusts me. What's it mean? I know. Uh, no offense, of course. Of course, no offense. Lots of offense taken. I'm going to change the subject. And then I'm going to take my leave. And you're probably not going to be in the party much longer, you jerk face. <laughs> ah, my goodness. Uh, they are both jerk faces. They, they really are. We've, we've got terrible taste in companions. Okay. However, time to head outside, I think. Get out of this cave. Been in here too long. I know. Stuck in there with those uh, two fools. There was someone out here to talk to you, wasn't there? A doctor. Yep. Do you want to talk to them since I've just had a long conversation with Fane? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Let's uh, stand in the fire. Okay, I'm called uh, up. Did we, did, we eat, did we take all the liquor? I think we have actually got some. I've not got an option to give her any. Uh, let me have a quick look at our inventory. Uh, oh, I think I think you may have fed her all to the Red Prince. Yeah, I think so. Sorry. Uh, let me double check, though. I can't open it, unfortunately. Yeah. 
I can't open it right now. Sorry. I, I don't think I've got it. <gasps> all the wars for old Dane. He crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Doomed to be sure, but I would have liked to ease his way out. I've got an undead option. Tell her she's right. Death may be better than a life in pain. Exactly. Take my leave. Um, oh well. Now, let me have a quick look at my backpack. Uh, apparently I cannot. Oh, it's because I'm still in the conversation. I wish it would exit out, but I understand why it does. Uh, yeah, no alcohol on me anymore. We can probably find some out and about. Yeah, and bring it back, maybe. I don't know whether we've lost our opportunity at this point. We can always see. Ooh, a skull. For a skull this small, it still oozes sadness and magical potential. Aww. I approve. Oh, there's a there's a hound. Gotta go have a chat You've with him. You've got pet, pet speaking, haven't you? Oh, hey. Let me know when you're caught up. I'm caught up. Okay. Uh, ask the dog his name. I'm, I'm Buddy. Oh. oh. Bend down and stroke his head. The tip of his tail starts to wag. Ask the pooch what's the matter. It's it's no use anyway. Oh. Um. Tell him to try me. You're you're nice. Emmy would have. Emmy would have loved you. Um. <laughs> so you don't doubt that everyone loves you. No. Ask whether this Emmy is the reason he seems so blue. She was my mate for the last seven. Carry the two plus fifty. Five years. <laughs> the magisters, they took her. Oh no. Um. Has he Tell seen him his he's mate? Really bad at maths. <laughs> Ask if he's seen his mate since she was taken. Nope. Haven't smelled her either. She was real bright, you know. Had the best sniffer you've ever seen. I guess that's why they wanted her, not me. Oh, poor buddy. Say, so, let me cry. show you something. Okay. What do you want to show me, buddy? Keep going. There you go. Okay. What's up? Okay, well, what, what is, is it? Oh, okay. Like, I wonder what all that's about. So they'll probably, when you get to the Magister's place, there'll probably be something we can unlock, and it might be just the Emmy. Good, if I got any meat for him, and I think I poisoned all of the meat. Unfortunately, I've got some intestines, but that would set him as disease. Do you have any food, or fish, or anything? So I've got no, um, no good Yeah, meat. there's a chub fish in the Red Prince's bag. I can pop that oh, in your inventory. You yes, please. Uh, give two bran. There you go. Okay, let's have a chat. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, baring its teeth and growling. Oops. Uh, okay. Maybe I should have a word with the cat. Yeah. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. You caught up? Yep. What's going on? No, he's still completely uh, completely mad. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of interesting, actually. We um, need to get away from the cat before we can speak to the dog. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is, the cat kind of following me around. And I want to know what the cat's up to. I, we've got a lot to learn with that. We but do. But there's quite a lot of shore for us to check out. Fish bone, minor healing, bed roll, frying pan... Now remember, apparently in the in the square, there's some sort of lever that we were supposed to get for that uh, ghost guy. Yeah, yeah. With a with a wood. With a wood, but, but I think that's the in the square leading to the um in the courtyard of the magister's area. Ooh, the imprisoned elf. We just got a log update. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, okay, uh, the log upgrade. We found Griff's supply crate, but there was nothing inside. Perhaps the contents are still nearby. All right. 
I wonder whether we maybe found the supply crate before Griff asked us to it find it. Could be, yeah. That is kind of... But hopefully it'll update itself when we get the actual quest. Yeah. That is always a little bit of a problem when that happens. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff around here. Do you want you want to sneak around and have a look at what what that is? Maybe pick yeah, up a couple of things? Yeah, let's see if I sneak. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Like, literally no one. So we could just take what we want, realistically speaking. There's nothing in there. Uh, some herring in here. I'll pick that. There's a frying pan. One-handed mace, that one. There's a bedroll. Mm. We did, we've all got bedrolls, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. Minor, Minor healing, healing potion. potion that. Uh, looks like everything else is okay. Uh, some more whisper yeah. words. Some shells. I picked up like a basket, but I don't think I want to take that with me. No, probably unless, not. Unless, unless I can open it. No, it doesn't look like. So I'll just drop that. Okay, I found an elf over here that we can possibly talk to if you'd like. Okay, let's uh have a chat then. Okay, Mal, it's a trader. Here you oh, are. Cool. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. Let me know when you're caught up. I am caught up. Uh, I'm going to use my elf option. Note that he still speaks as elves do. For I am an elf. The tongue of others is not my tongue. You may speak of then and when. I do not. I refuse to learn their strange speech. Oh, yes, of course, because elves don't really have as much of a concept of yeah. tense. Right. I'm going to ask him what he wants to know. Start from the beginning. Start from where you come. Mm. I'm going to claim my origins are too strange to be believed. I see, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell see, me I, what you find. I like the fact, right, that they have no concept of tense, but they have a concept of beginning and end. Yeah, I know. That, that actually caught my attention as well, which is interesting. I'm going to say, hmm, this is an interesting one. I love questions like this because they, they force me to think about my character's origin. And I love it yes. in games like this where the character's backstory is basically built up out of interactions with people who are curious about it. Up until this point, I didn't really think about what my character is looking for. But I'm going to say I seek to make amends. And that is now a part of my character's backstory. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Like I'm now religious, apparently. <laughs> yeah, true. I hope to find something I've lost. Ah, you want reunion. Life is lonesome. Yes, life is lonesome. The thing you love is gone. I have something for you, my friend. A gift. This is fantastic. I love these little... Things in this game. We can see the things we lose. Oh, not with our eyes, but with our hearts. This ruby does the trick. I'm going to thank him for the gift. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather. Okay. And into the trader we go. Hooray! Uh, okay. There's pearls, potion bottles, short sticks, sharp pieces of metal. Ooh. Sharp piece of metal is probably useful for some sort of crafting. Yeah, making knives or something. Uh, ooh, we got contamination, fortify, um, fossil strike, geomancer spells. I don't think I can use geomancer, but you can, can't you? Mm. Did you take geomancer? Yeah, yeah, I have. And I've actually got a spare memory slot. However, I lack the money for this. It's 300. Do we have that much money between us? We might have enough to sell for it. Hang on, let me just see how much I've got. 
All right then, we have done a bit of inventory juggling and we of course remember to have the Red Prince do the trading. And we now have a new skill book. Marvelous, I say. All right, I'm going yes. to learn the skill. There we are. And that has already been added to my active skill. So now so I my can view use what skill did you get? Fortify, uh, which gives me 12 physical armor. While fortified, the target cannot be teleported, removes poisoned, bleeding, burning, acid, and decaying. So obviously Ooh, I wouldn't nice. want to use it to get rid of my poisoned, but it is a uh, pretty pretty good one. I think I might be able to use it on other people as well, which would be especially Yeah, because the Red useful. Prince has that skill and he can use it on other people, so I think you should be able to. That is brilliant. Okay, that was actually pretty useful for us. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see what we've got around here. We've got some other people, Margo and Narin. Okay, would you like to talk to someone? Because I know I've been talking to a lot of people up to now. Oh, that's okay. I spoke to the doctor. True. Right, let me get Snow to speak to them. So I'll speak to Mark. Oh, oh, Narin has just started talking to the Red Prince. Oh. Uh, I've just caught up. Okay, so I'm going to say, sigh. Is this going to be another attempt on your life? Because they're a frightful bore, frankly. Because I really feel that that's what Red would say. Yeah, I do. Not an attempt, mate. Not if I can bloody help it. I like the okay. way he talks, but he's going to die. So Time's dead. up, your highness. Let's dance. Okay, <sighs> we're going to dance. Will it be a waltz? <laughs> Fantastic. No, I didn't set me on fire. And through dust in his eyes. That's just so rude. Okay, I can turn off the burning. Oh, the red. Darn handy, yeah. Good, right, there you go. Great. And, um, I mean, what wand have I got equipped currently? Is my wand Bernie? Yes, it is. Good, 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 good. And he's got a decent amount of both magical and physical armor there. Uh, now, it would be resisted by his magic armor, which is a bit of a pain. Is there anything around that I could... No, there's nothing really around here that I could use. I could pop a poison dart down so that you could summon a poison familiar, but you could also just summon a burning familiar. Yeah, I might honestly. use the burning one on the fire. Yeah. In that case, I think I would like to equip both of my wands so I can do explosive damage. There we go. So now I'm dual wielding, and this is going to hurt you. You honestly look like you're about to play the bongos. <laughs> bongos, no, bongos with my bird skull no, wands. No, it'll have to be like a, a timpani or something. A bongos timpani, okay. Your hands. Well, uh, that yeah. actually did a chunk of, uh, of uh, damage there, which I'm pleased with. That's very um, good. Creates an oil surface. Actually, let me quickly examine him with my lawmaster. Okay, source muted permanent. He's uh, got one in warfare, one in scoundrel. His damage is 10 to 11, and he has a 50% poison resistance. Ah. Oh, that's no good. He's also an opportunist, so he can have... Um, he can uh, make attacks of opportunity. Oh, that's a nightmare. Okay, an oil surface where it lands. I'm going to go for that one, actually, because it's likely not going to be resisted. It doesn't say anything about resistance, so I'm going to drop it right there. There we are. Burning has been blocked by magic armor, but he no longer has magic armor, which is glorious. Oh, that's good. So he might pick up burning soon. Yeah, I'm also going to make sure he does. Two, three, all three daggers. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Set red, red is burning. Fire. Well, I'm going to just get he Red out of here. I'm going to get him out of here. He is going to take damage. Bye -bye. Oh, no, they weren't in close combat then. Okay, that's good. Okay, and uh, I'll get him fortify himself again. Sorry about that. Hopefully that'll take the burning off. Yes, sir. Yes. That's good. There you go. Nice. Poor thing. He I think blinded, he might need though. to take a... I might get him to take a healing potion as well. There we go. 
Nice. Okay, still got some. I can still do my fat dragon's breath, keep them on fire a bit more. Uh, it probably won't add any extra burning to him because burning some damage though, and I didn't yeah. have much else I could do from range with him, and I didn't really want to. No, that makes sense. Yeah. There's plenty of fire around for you now right. to summon a fire elemental, and fire yeah. attacks can't be resisted by him anymore. So, summon it right next to him. I love the sounds of the incarnate. I can still hit him with my burn arrow as well. I love all okay, my, my... Have you noticed my character just playing around with the, the wands? That was fantastic. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm just going to hit him. You're stacking up a load of damage there, actually, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. He's almost dead. That was all right. Oh, invisible. That's annoying. Yeah, it is a little bit. Ah, he's wet. I'm running away. <laughs> he walked in the water, so his invisibility was was removed. Oh, I like that. I like that an awful lot. Um, hmm. it's kind of a bit of a problem where he is right now. Yeah. Uh, I can't easily see him. You see. I could use two AP to get about there and possibly attack from this position still. Yeah, he's basically hiding behind a rock like a coward, doesn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't just be stood out there if this was going on to me. I suppose it is like four on one, so... Yeah, I mean, he brought it on himself, but still, pretty rough. Well, five on one if you count my incarnate. Uh, yeah, that's true, actually. All right, well, there's not an awful lot I can do. Let's actually... Do you not have a summon, or did you take other... Uh, yeah, I do, but I have to have a dead body to be able to summon it. Ah. Uh -huh. Can I get it down? Oh, I can. Fantastic. I approve. Let's go for it. Oh, nice. And explosion. Well, it's not exploding yet, but... Red should be able to put him, put him down here, which seems yeah. appropriate. Petrified failed. Oh, he's got physical armor, of course. It's the um, geomancer damage that his staff does that is actually getting through because he has no more magic armor. Unfortunately, no, he couldn't. Yes, he can. He's still got physical armor. No, no, Red couldn't. Um... Oh, right, right, right. I thought you were saying that he wasn't going to be able to survive your attack. <laughs> My bad. No, she's oh, just bad luck. The, the rock, unfortunately. No, that was me. I should have moved her. I was being silly. Right, the incarnate can just come down and whack him. And will it him. hurt in the wet? Uh, no. Yes, it will. <laughs> I love the fact that he's like, ah, such a nuisance. And also, they're rude. That's the worst part, the rudeness. Yes, what it is. Got in there? Uh, we've got a restoration scroll, restores 15 vitality for two turns. We've got a neat blade, a tattered page, life essence, a single spark hovers delicately within this in in uh, redescent enchanted orb, and some oil flasks. Um, I think pretty much any of this, other than the sword, what's, um, what's Red Sword? Red Sword, uh, he's got a spear at the moment, doesn't he? He got off uh, that with a oh with a more guy hmm. um so his spear at the moment is uh two to three earth and 11 to 12 physical with okay. 150 crit this sword isn't as strong but it is a sword if he has any like skills with sword it would probably be a good one for him but since it was an attack on red i actually think you should be the one to ga grab all of the gear there but also talk with red Yes, and I need to level Red up as well. Has Fane got any levels? Yeah, we all got a level. Oh, we all got a level just now? Okay, mm -hmm. sorry. I thought I'd missed something. No, no, no. We literally no, I'll just have leveled a, up. I'll have a chat with uh, Red then. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? To cut a cut throat. throat. <laughs> As evidenced by the fact that your tongue got twisted by it. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Um, say he seems awful relaxed for someone who's just the target of an assassin, or he could have mentioned he's a hunting man. I'm going to say he seems awfully relaxed for someone who was just the target of an assassin. Oh, one gets used to this kind of thing so quickly. 
This is hardly the first time someone's filled some poor fool's purse and bid him kill the prince. Fair enough. I'll tell you what, though. Whomever wants me out of the picture will have to do a lot better if they seek to get the better of me. Very well. All those bumblers they've sent so far mark a mere insult to my swordsmanship. Oh, you sound so insulted. Like he's going he to cry. Okay. Well, check on his skills, because if he actually has better skills with a sword, Quick look now. then it might be worth getting him the, that gear. Also, once you're finished looting, we'll go over the, the note that you found. He's an opportunist, sophisticated spell song, so none of that gives him better sword. It'll be in his skill, uh, sorry, in his uh, talents, I believe. Which one's his talent, sorry? Uh, civil ability, no, not so, civil ability, sorry, uh, ability. So there's like single handed, two handed, dual wielding, ranged, all of that kind of stuff. Oh, weapons. Right, yeah. okay, so he's got nothing in any of those at all. Okay, that's fine. Right, well, let's uh, take a few moments to take our levels and then we can summarize yes. what we've done when we come back. And we are back from taking our levels, um, and we're just going to do a little summary of what we did. So mm -hmm. I'll start if you don't mind. Yeah, by all means. Okay. Uh, so I'll start with um, Snow, and I have given her some extra finesse and intelligence, which is fair enough because she's a an archer and also a summoner. Um, she's also been given an extra point in summoning. Cool. Uh, nothing we didn't get any civil abilities did we and i've also given her a talent of duck duck goose and that lets her evade attacks of opportunity oh. so she can move around a little bit more yeah that's actually pretty awesome escape from people that's actually a huntsman ability yeah um moving on to red he has been given some extra strength and some extra constitution as a fighter he's also been given an extra point in warfare so Again, more along the fighter lines. Mm -hmm. um, and I've given him a warfare um, talent, which is called Picture of Health. And that gives him extra vitality, plus 3% for every point in warfare. So you'll get 9% extra vitality for that one. Oh, wow. And that's it. Okay, well, for myself, I actually did uh, a few things with this. Firstly, I popped... Um, the majority of my points, in, my my two attribute points, into wits. Now, people looking at my uh, video at the moment will see that. Hang on a second, you've got extra in memory, and you've got a lot more than just two extra points in wits. I will get to that in a moment. I popped a point into huntsman because I've been waiting on that, and uh, you will notice that I now have first aid as a skill. Now, immediately that will actually damage me i believe if i were to cast it on myself but it will cure crippled knocked down blinded silenced bleeding burning poisoned and disease now the thing with that is i may have to for science it and see how it works it says rested for one turn it doesn't like uh from what i can tell it doesn't give you like regeneration so it's only a hit of 20 vitality and it can cure a lot of state of um of ailments so it might still be useful on an undead but primarily that's there so i can help out red a little bit but uh back to it's the tough. skills yeah he's always hurt <laughs> yeah i know uh i actually picked up bigger and better and that gave me two extra attribute points to spend which is how i increased my memory and got my wits all of the way up to 15 so uh, i now have an initiative of 15 and my critical chance is five as well which is actually pretty cool i think as for fame fame went pure intelligence so lots of extra points into intelligence uh he also got a point in dual wielding which is for two one-handed weapons so in this case he's got his two wands and finally i gave him torturer which causes um the duration of damage statuses caused by your skills and surfaces to increase by one turn so if for example he was to cast poison on me or snow then that would result in that character having poison status for one turn longer which is pretty oh, useful i think that's useful yeah okay well we've put down the enemy but i do not believe that red has yet uh looted the the body and find out what's in that letter do you want to do that now sheila 
Yeah, let's do that. Where was the body? It was behind that rock, wasn't it? Okay, so let's grab all this. And we have a letter, a tattered page. Okay, go ahead and read it. Which I shall read. Uh, Naren, you have served me well in the past. You will do so again. Use the scroll included with this letter and cast it in a public square in Arcs. You will be arrested for source use and shipped to Fort Joy. Once on the island, you will search for a red-skinned lizard. You will kill him. You will cut mm. the body to pieces. You will ensure no magic in the world can restore him back to life. You have your orders. Your weight in gold awaits you. Good uh -huh. luck and good hunting. And it doesn't have a signatory. Mm, okay, very interesting. You've also picked up a restoration scroll, which um, that will actually cast um, like regeneration. So that may... I'm not sure. Would that be better on red or better on someone else to cast on red, I wonder? Uh, probably better on someone else to cast on red. Hmm. Yeah. So I might give that to Snow. Yeah, I think that would probably be uh, a good good call there. And he's got a life essence as well. Ooh. We got any of those already? I don't think we do. We just have a water essence and a life essence now. Oh, very nice. Okay, they may, may actually be quite useful then in the future. I don't know um, what they do yet, but we might pick up something to tell us what to do with them later. I don't know. Very intriguing though. And I also got an, a sword, but it's no better than my my cool spear. So, well, I suppose it's one-handed. So if I had a, a shield, but I sold my shield. So if I get a shield later on, I could always use that sword. Yep. I am Unless just going to see if I can. You and Fane use uh, wands, don't you? So you don't need it. Oh, did I just drop something on the floor? I may have just dropped something on the floor. You this a bug. I know. Uh, apparently, I did not. Oh, well, where's it gone then? Oh, there we are. I'm trying to uh, craft and see if I can combine two potions, whether I can um, make a stronger poison barrel. Oh, I did. Wow, okay, I've made a medium poison bottle now. That's actually more health than we could need at all. But it's That's like 129 health. health. Yeah, it's All 129 right. to 143. Maybe like, once Red crazy. has got a few more points of warfare, that might be a full heal for him. Well, I mean, that would be an awfully easy kill for Red, actually, because it's a poison bottle, but yeah. Oh, right, sorry. That's <laughs> okay. I'm sure he's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good, thanks, uh, thanks. That's no, fine, yep. don't give me that. Yeah, uh, I'm good. Cool. Uh, can I just cook this fish? Oh, I can. I just made dinner okay you made dinner well done yeah i just i just cooked a fish it heals 15 percent uh, i'll send that over to red there you go red awesome. well because this is a cook station keep yeah. an eye out for those kind of things all over the world you can make them i believe i picked up a cook pot and i don't know what that if that's like a portable cook station or i strongly it's imagine cheap. it's something that you are going to be able to combine at some point to make a uh into a, a cook station that you can place somewhere in the world. I seem to remember that from the, the first game. Because it says it's a cooking pot for cooking, and that's the only information it gives me. Okay. I'm going to chat with Margot. Would you like to listen in? Yep. The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. Are you caught up? Caught up, yeah. Okay. I haven't seen you around here before. New? I am indeed. Um, tell her I just arrived. Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. She seems uh, pretty uh, comfortable here. You here alone? Um, <laughs> say I've fallen in with a few travel mates, but they don't mean much to you. <laughs> oh, my lord. Uh, say, so yeah, I've been lucky enough to make some close ties. She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Aww. 
Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Oh, that's lovely. She's so sweet. Now, I'm not going to ask her why she's here alone, because I, I'm fairly certain I've got the answer already. I'll thank her for the advice. It's nothing. If I haven't learned that by now, I haven't learned anything at all. Uh, I'll see what she has to trade. Uh, oh, she's got a restoration skill book for uh, hy uh, Hydrosophist. And a couple of little bits and bobs and me, some empty potion bottles. Um, she's actually got a an identifying glass. I think that's actually going to be useful at some point. Got a funny yeah. feeling it will. Could you shoot me over the... Actually, no, have red by it. Because red is much better at that than I am. I'm going to yes. take my leave. Okay, so yeah. red. Get over there. And then hand over the magnifying glass because I've got law master. And I'm thinking that with the two, I'll be able to just identify things. Right, so you're wanting the identifying glass. So I can get yeah. that for 96 instead of 105. Oh, so that's so much easy. better. Yeah. I'll just buy it with money because we don't have much to trade anymore. Yeah, we have emptied our pockets a little bit. There oh. you go. All done. I wonder, can I make a... I think I can make a wand with this because my wands are literally just sticks with skulls on. So let me see what I can do. No, I can't. She's, she's, she's wanting to speak to Red now. Oh. I'll try and I'll try and finish the. It's just the same stuff that you asked. Okay. Uh, said, but he has an option to say, um, "You've yet to find someone who'll address a prince with the proper deference." <sighs> Red. <laughs> A I'm going to say that. no less. Don't think I ever had the honour. Must be strange for you here among us poor folk. Yep. I swear, if the prince is rude to Margot, I'll kill him myself. Yep. You here alone, Sir Prince? I'll sarcastically declare they forgot to send your slaves long when you were exiled. <sighs> a darn nuisance that happened. She gives you a long look. <laughs> <sighs> He's so bad. It's yes, not me, it's the Red Prince. Yep. You've got a sharp tongue. Seems to me I hear a whole lot of bitterness and anger at the root of it, though. A sharp tongue's a poor companion, you know. You tell him, Margot. Yeah, you tell him off. You think twice about facing this mean world alone, eh? Someone to drink to in the evenings. Someone to hold at night. If you've got those, you'll be all right. Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Okay, I'll just take my leave now. What is scallywag red prince, my lord? I know, he's so mean. But I know. He's so good at bartering. I know. <laughs> uh, I should, okay. uh, next time we get a level, I'll try and up that if I can. Ooh. Scepter the Infallible. There is a crab over there, and then there is also Beast, who is uh, who's the dwarvish awesome dude. But I'm going to have to talk to the crab, who's called Scepter the in, in, uh, Ineffable, rather. Ineffable, yeah. Ha! Call it like a dog. A very tall, very strange sailing dog. I'd pity you, but Scepter the Ineffable has a soft spot for beauty, and you carry that sugar off so very well. Although it might not be clear through sound, but I am grinning. And I'm like, oh, I like this crab. This crab is not going to be food. Have you caught up? I have, yeah. Um. Okay, ask the crowd what it's doing out here. Laughing in the faces of my enemies, of course. <laughs> Little do they know, the most powerful sorcerer the world has ever known scuttles on their very shores. I like Scepter. Yes. Um. How did it come by its source powers? This power is my birthright, same as yours, but one of us has grown to astounding heights and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, Scepter comes off less of a jerk when they say things like that than Red does when he does exactly the same thing. Uh, do because you know what? it's a cute little crab. Uh, that may be it. Do you know what exactly goes on inside the fort? Sorcerers dance while magistrates pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. Okay, is there a way out for Joy? But of course. They'll happily dump your meager bony corpse into the sea when they're through with you. Oh, the tragedy of it. 
Oh, it's an eyebrow. Didn't the order bring you here to cure you? Uh, the ass, I suppose. Ha! Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure or the disease? That's a surprisingly hmm. thoughtful point. Yes, I, I agree, actually. Okay, uh, I'm going to have a chat with Beast, or would you like to chat? No, you can have a little chat with Beast, okay. and I'll do the next chat. I am going to do something ahead of time, however. Right. Because there is a fantastically high chance that if I'm offered the opportunity to get rid of you, you scallywag, I will. <sighs> stupid fame, like stupid insults. Um, I'll leave you with your bonzo because I'm not a complete jerk. But I'm taking all of your inventory. That's mine. Okay. Alright, let's have a quick chat with Beast. I think he's, I think he's saying a rude rhyme there, you know. I wasn't paying any attention. I'm far too dapper to, to notice when someone's being rude. Okay. Okay, you caught up? Yep. Okay, come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. I think he's talking about the boat. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free to no avail. Oh. Ah! Um, uh, does he need a hand? Got two of my own, haven't I? Uh, it's true, but they don't seem to be doing what you want. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. Bleeding nail must be charmed or something. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tell the nail's not charred, he just needs to put a little elbow grease in it. Uh, I'll ask him again. Repeat your offer. Would you like some help? Go on then, give it a go. You grab the plank and pull. I'm not going to be able to do it. Might, I'm nowhere near strong enough. Doesn't budge. Ugh, forget it. Thanks for trying though. You're a good kid. Oh, thank you. I think Red probably would have been able to rest that out. I was going to say, yeah, you get he's a good look at the hearty fellow. Broad as a harland, sunburned from all sides. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. Such a magnificent beard. He winks and flips a gold coin toward you. It makes a long, high arc, glinting in the sun, and lands squarely in your hand. Good throw. For your trouble. Um, I'm not going to say that it wasn't worth a coin. I'm going to thank him. You, you, don't, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, basically. Yeah. Uh, thank him with a nod. I suppose it were a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap. But I couldn't help myself from trying. Oh, fair enough. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these. She would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. I love I love how industrious it is. I'm not gonna accept this. I'm gonna get off this place. I, like I know. It. Building a raft, I'm guessing. Uh yeah. Is he planning an escape? He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. I am totally trust can you not see Oh, I don't suppose my character does have a beard. Ah damn it, I've lost my majestic beard! This is terrible. Now he doesn't <laughs> know if he can trust me or not. If I had a beard, he would absolutely know that he could. He would, yeah. <sighs> I mean we could trust him. Obviously. Look at the beard. Aye. Was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Hmm. Um. People don't just leave Fort Joy. They'd probably have some way of stopping him. Maybe yeah. you don't. Oh, okay, fair enough. He stands before you and pokes you in the side, seizes your shoulder with a great, strong hand. There's something of you, you know. You don't have to accept your fate on this bloody island. You can leave here, get on with your life. I like him. He's giving life advice instead of telling me I'm worthless. You see, Fane? You see? Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. Look at that. That's just... good. Yeah. It's like the sun and the moon, him and Fane. My goodness. Um, yes, reach out and shake his hand. You'd be glad to have him as an ally. That's the spirit. He lifts an invisible cap and bows with the grace of a courtier. Very fancy. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's 
Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me. Beast. <laughs> I've got a barbarian option. I've got a barbarian option. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, good. Tell him I like his name. Thank you kindly. I earned it myself. <laughs> well, I'm asking what he did to earn it, actually. I'll yeah. tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm probably centuries old, but okay. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Oh, I like this a lot. See, I knew it. You can trust a beard like that. Yeah, Let's definitely. get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. Okay. I've been up and down the realm so often it'd make your cabbage spin. And I've picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle Ooh. mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team dynamics. I think so that would be fine. With the group yeah. Though. Yeah, I, I like it, actually. Battle mage it is. Then it's settled. Yep, that settles it. Capital. Aye. But it seems you've no room for old beast in your clan now. You come find me when a spot opens up and take it from me. You'll want to find a place for me at your side. Yep. Oh, that is actually quite cool that it gives me an option to, uh, yeah. to, to thick and long. make sure we can... Uh, uh, you know, dis uh, take things off any companions you've currently got. It doesn't immediately swap them out. Yeah. Um, so do we, are we going to swap him for Fane or? What was that? Sorry. Are you going to swap him for Fane? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think the Red Prince, I think, has business on the island, and I think it'd be good for the story to see what it is. Um, I'm fairly certain he's talking about his beard, by the way. Uh, uh, or a beard. Uh, yeah, I. You know what? As much as the things that the thing has are useful, I'd feel like a complete jerk just dumping him and saying, oh, "Well, on your own, you See, are." I'll let him keep his equipment strong. because I'm not an absolute scallywag. But all, all right, let's have a. Is it not enough quick that you travel with me? Must you speak too? Go on then, bark away. Let's see if we can find any method in it. He opened up with the, must you speak to me too? Well, as it happens, no. No, I don't. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Yes, yes, yes. I am. Yes, I can yes, imagine you. it might be somewhat difficult for you to forever be in my shadow. <sighs> Go on then, play in the sun. I have actual work to do. He makes it so easy. He does, he does. Goodbye. Goodbye, Thane. Now, I'm not sure if I'd be able to recruit him again at some point. That might be an option, or if not, then this gives a lot of replayability to the game. Like, a lot yeah. of replayability. Oh, okay, let's have a chat then, Beast. Let's team up, you and me. What do you say? Sounds like a good idea. How do, partner? Though I reckon I should fill you in on a few things. <laughs> That's interesting. He says, how do, but a up. I mean, a up sounds uh, a little bit more fitting in a way. Yeah. Right now, though, the biggest thing on my mind is some candy arse called Lohar lurking in Driftwood. The Queen is up to something nasty, and he's the best chance I've got of finding out what's what. Mm -hmm, okay, which Queen? Well, that's that sorted. Onward, then. I've got to get out of here, and soon. And I suppose you do, too. Uh, I, I mean... I feel that being the person that he is, he deserves honesty. I can't lie to a being like that, frankly. Yeah, he's a straight talker. Yeah, I'm going to tell him I'm undead. Ah, well, my best mate's son is undead. Nothing to be ashamed <laughs> of. Oh, that's fantastic. This, this, this fella is it's grand. Now, onward. Onward it is. Hooray. <laughs> and we have now got beast. Okay, well, let's uh, quickly check the logs. Um, right. There's a couple of things that have actually closed, interestingly enough. Would you like to read through Troubled Waters closed? Troubled Waters. Is that closed um, for you? I'm not seeing Troubled Waters. Is it maybe archived? Yeah. Uh, the Merryweather and then Troubled Waters closed. Yeah, it was. for me it's in archived. I don't hmm, know if that's, that's strange. I wonder already. why that showed up as, as new to me. Uh, then we've got the Shakedown Close, which is uh, Escape from Reaper's Eye. 
Hello, uh, just again, that was archived for me. Yeah, that's very strange. It shows as new. Maybe I just haven't read over it. Hello, he thanks us for saving her and suggested that we talk to another elf. Fair enough. But Beast, my companions. A dwarf named Beast has joined me. His experience as a sea captain will surely be useful. I am extremely glad for this. Let's have a look at Beast. Beast has got a backpack with nothing in it. He's got a health potion. I will have to make sure he gets some of those. Uh, you can carry the poison barrel for me because I, I need someone to carry it for me. Um, I'm currently wielding my wands. I'm going to give him the wand. He's currently got two axes. Huh. Are you using that um, neat blade of yours? No, right. actually. If he wants it, then... Hmm. Uh, yes, if I could. Let me have it. Let me just do for my inventory. So, neat blade, send to... Beast. Thank you. Interestingly, he's got dwarf. Dwarfs are fierce nationalistic followers of their queen, Justina. Their proud society is deeply divided between haves and have-nots, but all dwarves passionately defend their proud kingdom. Beast, a failed rebellion against the queen nearly destroyed you, so you began a new life on the high seas. Now your old enemy is back. If you don't stop it, no one will. He's got Barbarian as well, and Noble. Born to riches and luxury, you have an aristocratic bearing, eloquent speech, and the finest manners. Oh, wow. Very curious. Very curious, indeed. But there so we are. So he's got a, a problem with the queen? Yes, which is very mm. odd for, for, for a dwarf, dwarves, yeah. for the sounds of it. Okay, no, that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to take up a couple of levels now. <sighs> oh, my lord. Okay, and I have finished taking up the levels for Beast here. Now, I'm going to have to get Beast some decent armor, but he has got a funky new sword. I've also popped a couple of points into strength and a point into constitution and I think one point into intelligence as well because he, he does a little bit of all of it, really. Uh, I've also put a ability into Aerothurge and into dual wielding. So his air attacks deal a little bit more damage, and he does a little bit more damage and dodges better when he's dual wielding. Uh, I popped a extra point into sneaking, because he's already got that, uh, thanks to his Dwarven Guile. And gave him Opportunist, because he's going to be mostly um, in a sort of combative stance, frontline attacker, so I want anyone who's in base contact with him to have to um, get hit if they try to move out of it. He does have... Quite a few interesting abilities split between Warfare and Aerothurge, so it's going to be quite good. He might be very dangerous to someone who's wet, for example, which I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. um, also, I picked up a book a little while ago called A Simple Rhyme. Used to read and learn about crafting. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh. An old nursery, nursery rhyme reads, Come join me where it's hot. Come join me at the fire. Come join me round the pot. That's how we make our dinner. Um, Ooh, so, cooking station recipe. Ah, so heat. So a, a fire and a pot. Um, or just all those things together allow you to... Uh, oh, no, there we are. Yeah, cooking station. As you say, that hadn't popped up for me just yet. Okay, let's have a look at what's required for that. Uh, let's see. So food. Is it under cooking? There we are. Cooking station. Yeah, uh, a campfire and a cooking pot allow you to make a cooking station out oh, of the right. campfire. That's actually pretty cool. That's I've really cool, in fact. Pot, so if we find campfires, then we can maybe do some cooking. And interestingly, we've still got the recipe for the uh, Mask of the Shapeshifter, so we may still have that available to us, which is pretty cool. Ah, yeah. Okay, well, finally swapped out Thane, and I know that a lot of people are going to be a little bit sad about that because you like the sass, but no, how could you say no to this magnificent dwarven beard? I tell yeah. you, that's, that's amazing. Also, he wears an eye patch. Uh, I, I, like, I like Beast a lot more. I think Beast is going to suit the character. Also, Beast we can't take any nonsense, does he? No. And we're going to need, a, I think, a few more people who can uh, actually fight rather than just cast. But do you think that's a good place for us to wrap up this episode, Shilab? I do, we've been going for a little while, and you know what, if you look at the map, we've done like most of this side of the island now, so we need to move on to the oh, wow, cool. uh, east side. Yeah, we've only got a little bit to the north to do, and then we're back into uh, the actual Fort Joy. Nice. Yeah. Very, very good. 
Okay, so uh, with that then, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. Do let us know what you thought about the episode so far and the series as a whole in the comments down below. But until next time, and as always, take care, everyone. Take care.